Thank you all. It's a great honor. And thank our Vice President for being here. Thank you. Ivanka Trump, thank you for being here. And we have a great group behind us, incredible people. Some of you are very good friends for a long time. Good afternoon. It's an honor to be with you, the men and women of law enforcement, as well as two fantastic state attorneys general who are always proud to stand by the side of law enforcement officers. That's Pam Bondi and Leslie Rutledge. Thank you very much. Thank you. I want to thank also Chuck Canterbury, President of the Fraternal Order of Police, and Sheriff Greg Champagne, President of the National Sheriff's Association. Where are you, folks? Good. Hello. How are you? How are you? Yes, sir. Great. Appreciate you being here. Really two great champions of law enforcement. We are here today to reaffirm our unbreakable support for the American heroes who keep our streets, our homes, and our citizens safe. And they've been doing an amazing job under very adverse conditions. We will always support the incredible men and women of law enforcement. I can speak very strongly for myself and for Mike Pence, our Vice President. Uh, we are behind you 100 percent. Every single day, America's law enforcement officers, firefighters, first responders, and their families make tremendous sacrifices for their communities and for their nation. When a home is threatened, when danger visits our doorstep, when innocent lives are on the line, Americans turn to their courageous offices of law enforcement because we know they are here to serve and to protect us all. They sacrifice every day to keep us safe. Many have paid the ultimate price, laying down their lives to save others. Incredible people. They're true heroes, and we will always be grateful. So I want to thank you, folks. That is so true. Our duty as Americans is to honor their service and sacrifice and to protect those who protect us. Today, I am proud to sign two laws to help fulfill that very, very sacred commitment. First, the Public Safety Officers Benefits Improvement Act will help disabled officers and firefighters and families of those who fall in the line of duty quickly receive all of the benefits they so justly deserve. People have wanted this for a long time. And I'm not just talking the people behind me. I'm talking about many people that represent the people behind me, family members and friends and people that just appreciate the work they do, which is incredible. For too long, injured officers have suffered, and the children of fallen officers have put their dreams of college on hold while bureaucracy delayed crucial benefits, made it impossible for their families no longer. It's unacceptable and is going to end today. In fact, it's going to end in about one minute. This bill speeds approval times by giving state and local enforcement greater role in determining eligibility and lets applicants track the progress of their claims online. So a much, much faster situation. You're all happy with that? You know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Yes, sir. You've been waiting for this for years. Second, the American Law Enforcement HEROES Act allows the use of federal grants to help our military veterans transition to new careers in law enforcement. America is proud of our veterans, and I think I can say a double proud or a triple proud. We love our veterans, and they're serving overseas. They're in harm's way. Uh, they are doing things that very few people would have the courage to do. And we will be and always will be incredibly proud to have them with us. And they've been with us like nobody. And we are going to be protecting them. They've been protecting us. We're going to be helping them right now. Uh, they've really been with us in terms of freedom in terms of our rights, and will right now in terms of their rights. As President, keeping Americans safe is my highest duty, and supporting law enforcement is my unwavering commitment. I am very proud to sign these two great bills today. I want to 
thank everybody for being here. And if you have the bills, we'll sign them. This has been years in the making. And I will tell you that this is something that I'm very happy to be doing. So congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President. This act may be cited as the Public Safety Officers Benefits Improvement Act of 2017. As you know, uh, let it be an act of the United States House. Uh, this act will be used, the American Law Enforcement Heroes Act. And that's what it is, your heroes. And so I want to just congratulate you. This one also has been a long time in the making. You're all heroes, aren't you? I think. Sure. Uh, you're all heroes. Yeah. Yes? yes. That is fantastic. Who gets this pen, Mike? Who gets this pen? <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much, everybody. This is slightly less controversial than yesterday, but yesterday was a big service to this country, I will tell you. Thank you very much, everybody.